Hi beauties, welcome back to A Plus Blonde TV. Okay, and the reason for today's video is to <sighs> retire my virgin Brazilian hair. You guys, I think it's time for me and this hair to really, really part ways. Seriously, it's been a long and exciting and wonderful journey, but I really, really need to give it up. And like, I'm thinking that I'm just going to give it up for a little while and then probably a week from now I'll put it back in. But I'm trying not to. And I actually have like three people that have offered to buy the hair from me once I take it out. But this hair has been installed like three times. It's been colored twice. And... It's been my best friend, and I'm just not ready to part with it. I'm really, really not. But I am ready to take it out of my head for now. And Zoe is barking. Okay. So, I haven't done anything to it other than washed it. Uh, I, I co-washed it yesterday, yesterday, and I let it um, air dry. And that's because when I take it out, I just want it to be clean so I can, you know, package it up and store it for a later date and so um i haven't done anything to my hair uh the weave or anything so do not be alarmed when you see this cap come off my head Okay, so here's the hair. It's a little damp still, but okay. Um, you can see the line for where I had it pulled back in the ponytail. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I wasn't thinking about it. I just went to sleep. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to spray a mist, a little bit of my um, Nourishing Coconut or Weightless Hydrating Oil Mist by Organics. And I'm going to... Comb it out a little bit for you guys. Okay, so why do I love this hair so much? I've had this hair installed for the third time since November um, 17, 16, 17, somewhere around um, that date. And this hair is like so user friendly. And when it wet, when you wet it, it does weigh back up. But I had it in that scrunchy thing balled up in the back of my head. So it's kind of just taking any type of form. I straightened it once. I straightened it and I curled it. And then it was beautiful. It didn't straighten bone straight. It actually really still looked really wavy to me. But it curled with the uh, one list. The curling the handleless curling one or whatever that is i don't know <gasps> um very well it worked very well on that so yeah ouch take this ring off As you can see it doesn't really tangle and i only have a few strands of hair and and this is largely in uh, due to the fact that how I left it uh, on my head last night. But yeah, this hair, nine times out of ten, you're going to get no shedding. And I'm not going to sit here and say minimal shedding. You're going to get no shedding unless you don't do what you're supposed to do like I did last night. And I just balled it up and it was still a little damp and all of that. But if you, you know, comb it out at night, take you two sections, put it in two plaits. And put your bonnet on, you're good. When you comb it out in the morning, you won't have any hair coming off of this weft. And I did seal my wefts. I do not remember what I used, but I, each time I installed it, I believe I sealed my wefts. Um, no tangling. This The hair does not tangle throughout the day. Any of that. And if I can show you a little bit more of the men. Hopefully you beauties got that. At any time you want to rub your fingers through it, 
you're good. There's no tangling. You're not going to be embarrassed. If you're like doing it in front of, you know, some cute guy you like or something, you're not going to be embarrassed. Unless you don't do what you're supposed to do with the hair and then it will tangle kind of like what just happened to me. Um, the hair did, did hold the curls. When I curled it, it did hold the curls very well. The hair held heat as well. So um, that was a plus. And like I said, I've dyed it twice at first. I just did like the bottom section and then I went back and kind of bought it all the way up through and the hair is still as soft. It doesn't, you know, when you put your oils or whatever on it, it doesn't look dry. I co-wash it on a regular. You can even deep condition this hair. You can Anything that you can do to your regular hair, you can do to this hair and it is going to last. Now it's looking a little frazzled and dazzled right now because I'm tired. I need to just take it out. Um, I've had this sew in here since, like I said, November 16th, 17th, somewhere around there. I do not like to keep my sew-ins in that long because my hair grows super fast. As you can see, anything that's blonde is new hair. And that's my natural color. So that's where I get the name A Plus Blonde from because I'm naturally like a sandy, dirty blonde or whatever. So, um... I'm missing my regular color hair and I don't want to um, dye it any time soon. So I'm going to try to see how I can rock my natural hair. And what I'm going to do is see how I could try to get this hair to match my natural hair as closely as it possibly can. But yeah, back to this hair. This hair is just wonderful. I will put the link down below as to where I got it from. Um, it's always, she always has great affordable prices and I have some hot chocolate cause it's cold as I don't know what in my house. And so, um, and like I said, she always has great prices and the shipping is super fast. Like it gets to you in no time. You're not going to be waiting forever on your hair. I tried this hair, I tried um, the Peruvian hair, I don't know if I did, I think I did a video on that hair on my other channel, but like this vendor I will stick with because I know for a fact that I'm going to get my money's worth with this vendor here. So yeah, the hair is just super soft, super manageable, yeah, I really treat it like it's really my own hair, like it really came from out of my head. I mean. Whatever you could do, other than permit and stuff like that, you can whatever you can do to regular hair, you can pretty much do to this hair. And I use a lot of the organics products from their shampoo, their different conditioners, and um, and they they work really really well with the hair. It's a good product line to have with this hair. So yeah, I don't know what else really to say about the hair other than it's great. It has held up for me through three different sew-ins, and those weren't back-to-back sew-ins, so. I've had this hair probably going on a year now and this to me this hair is just like my old faithful I know that I could come back and get a great look and some great usage out of this hair at any times and this is like three and a half bundles and what I was going to do before I um, got it put back in is order another bundle like a longer one to put back in the in the back and um get that started so guys let me show you what's next on my sewing okay so this is what's next this is straight this is peruvian straight and it comes from the same vendor and this is what a plus blonde shall be installing in her hair next hey so yeah you guys like if you have any suggestions as to what color that i should try to put on this hair to kind of get it to match my natural hair um as close as possible. I know it's not going to be an exact match because actually my my natural hair is lighter in the front than it is everywhere else. It just grows like that. I don't know why. I have no clue. But my edges and my perimeter in the front is always lighter than the rest of the hair on my head. So it's going to be weird like that. So it's going to have to look like some kind of custom blend or something at the top. But if you have any suggestions as to what color I should try to shoot for, Please comment below and let me know because I'm totally lost, scared, and confused. But yeah, this hair is Peruvian and it's straight and it's from the same vendor. So I'm really excited to put this in. I haven't... 
I haven't done anything to this hair yet. Haven't co-washed it. Haven't done anything. But um, I'm really excited to get it put in. And this hair is four bundles. I want to say the shortest length is a 16 and the longest bundle is a 20 or 22. I want to say it's a 22. But I don't remember. I don't have so much hair laying around. I found the bundle of something the other day and I'm like, I don't even know what this is. Is this Peruvian? Is it Brazilian? Is it wavy? Well, I can tell that it's wavy versus curly. Duh. But... I don't know what kind of hair it is. I don't know if it's Brazilian like this or Peruvian like my other hair. I don't even know what company it came from. I just got hair everywhere, you guys. So, yeah. Thank you for watching my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And stay tuned for my next video. Bye.